placenta. It is a plate-like or disc-shaped structure. It has two components. During the fourth month of development, this placenta shows two components. One is fetal portion and another one is maternal portion. Fetal portion comes from corion frondosa and maternal portion develops from decidua basalis. Students, you have to remember these two terms. These two terms is very much important. Teacher, examiner will ask you, what are the parts of placenta? You have to answer like this. It has two parts. Fetal portion comes from corion frondosum and maternal portion comes from decidua basalis. These two terms is very, very important. Now again, the fetal portion of the placenta develops from, that means this corion frondosum develops from tropoblast and extra embryonic mesoderm, which has also another name, which is known as chorionic plate. And the maternal portion develops from uterine endometrium, that is decidua basalis. We know that pregnant uterus endometrium is known as decidua and this decidua basalis develops the maternal portion of placenta on the fetal side placenta is bordered by chorionic plate and on the maternal side it is bordered by the decidual plate let's see a picture this is a full term placenta what is this this is umbilical cord, plate-like placenta or disc-shaped placenta has two surfaces. This is superior surface or this is inferior surface. This surface actually known as fetal surface. And this surface is known as maternal surface. Now comes to the chorionic plate and decidual plate. This is this pinkish color plate is known as chorionic plate. From where it develops? It develops from the tropoblast and extra embryonic mesoderm. This is known as chorionic plate. And this space, this space contains villi. These are the villi, chorionic villi, tertiary chorionic villi. Now come to this part, this pinkish color plate is known as decidua basalis. This is pregnant mother's uterine endometria, which participate in the formation of placenta. This portion is known as decidua basalis or decidual plate. This is chorionic plate. So on the fetal side, placenta is bordered by chorionic plate and on the maternal side, placenta is bordered by decidual plate. Now come to these spaces. In between the villi, there is a space. This is known as intervilla space. This intervilla space contains tertiary villi. Again, tertiary villi has two parts. One is stem villi, another one is free villi. Which one is stem villi? The villa, uh, the portion of the villa that extends from chorionic plate up to the decidual plate, this straight portion is stem villi or anchoring villi. And from the stem villi, there is branching. This branching villi is known as free villi. This free villi is very, very important because exchange of nutrition, metabolites, takes place through this free villi. These are the free villi. Now we are going to talk about the vessels. This is umbilical cord. It shows one red color umbilical vein and two blue color umbilical arteries. These umbilical vessels again connected to the chorionic vessels. This chorionic plate contains blood vessels. These are known as chorionic vessels. So, in this point, at this point, these umbilical vessels are connected to the chorionic vessels. Again, these chorionic vessels connected to the villus 
vascular system that is villus blood vessels these are tertiary villi because within the villus core mesoderm give rise to these blood vessels so villus capillaries again connected to the chorionic vessels this is the decidual plate this contain maternal blood vessels these are spiral arteries in the endometrium and these are the vein blue colors are the vein red colors are the spiral arteries from the spiral arteries blood enter into the intervillous space these are the intervillous space and and from this space through the membrane through a placental membrane these are the placental membrane later on we will talk about in details through this placental membrane from this intervillous spaces maternal blood nutrition goes to the villus capillary by means of diffusion and from this villus capillary ultimately through this channel it goes to the fetus fetal intraembryonic circulatory system all these are extraembryonic vascular system if we uh, think that here is our embryo so embryo has intraembryonic vascular system and this blood uh, and nutrition goes to the ultimately to the fetus to give its nutrition so this is our full term placenta structure so again i am repeating what we have seen here we have seen here chorionic plate decidual plate tertiary villi intervillous space decidual septa these are the incomplete septa that divides the placenta into continuous compartment these are the compartment 